Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff. Day 636. Check it out. I'm, I think I'm pretty much cleared out the remainder of this palace town. I have hammered down most of the lampposts. There, there's a few left over near the, the watchtowers. And honestly, I think I want to keep these watchtowers here because they will provide a little bit of bat defenses. I just want to scan the rest of, the rest of the area around here to see if there are any interesting to see if there are any of uh, other lampposts or things worth hammering i've hammered down all of the all of the structures except for the shops i think i could probably keep the shops intact for now because they're not they don't amount to a ton of resources and they might be useful to have around here if i ever find myself over here again but in the meantime let me show you what uh let me show you what we hauled in from completely demolishing this area and also I kind of I like the look of these watchtowers I think if I hammered them down they would not come back or I could put the watchtowers back but they would just be standard looking watchtowers I should I will hammer the rest of these you can't do a damn thing about it not a damn thing just let me take them oh boy all right let's get out of here I think I have some coffee left in my bundle but look at all of the crap we are getting a hold of so many things that are gonna need transportation back. I'll take one. I'll hold on to one lantern. Oh, dude, are you really gonna? Are you gonna stay with me? You can stay with me. I will. Uh, I'll do the thing. I will destroy you. All right. Let me just. Let me just knock this boy down. And then, come on. And then I will start to move some stuff back over. But first I want to show you, I, I got all the resources inside. I just want to show you what that looks like. All right, here it is, check this out. This is all the stuff we have. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Boards, these are all stacks of boards, stacks of cut stone, stacks of doodads, and all this stuff needs to go back home so that we can use it in our building purposes. All of our building purposes, come on, buddy. All right, well, let's load up the root trunk and let's get some stuff back to the base. I got a few bundles. I will use them for bundling up various things. Matter of fact, I think I could just I could just bundle them up and throw the bundles into the root trunk. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm glad I chose to do this with the root trunk. Uh, having built a root trunk here because that will help me transport a lot of things back all at once. Let's grab a few stacks of cut stone and bring those back as well. And I'll make one more nettle roll for the road. There we go. I'm going to leave the rest of the nettles here. Because I will be back, most certainly. Just going to wait for this to finish cooking up. And then, oh, two days left. Yeah, that two nettle rolls should be enough to get me through the rest of lush season. All right, let's make a trip. Packham is completely filled up with oinks. I think I need to make a trip to the uh, to the city. Because I do have a bank over there. I'm just dropping off a few things first, and then I'm gonna head over. I got these bundles. I don't really, I don't even know what's in the bundle, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Be super nasty about it for now. I also want to get some more coffee because I'm running a little low on that stuff. Uh, so I have a couple stacks of ashes. I need to go check out the lure plant farm. Yeah, just check on a few things while I'm back here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at us go. Look at all these piggies that owe us lots and lots of money. I need to I need to build like a like a fence around here or wherever I end up putting the telebrella because otherwise I'm just going to get hounded every time I come back here by the pigs that owe me dearly. Let's go to the mineral exchange first though. And let's uh let's let's trade up these oinks. Just going to unequip the walking cane so I don't accidentally smack this guy. He's my best friend at the moment. Okay, it's like 300, about 300 oinks for all that trouble. All right, let's head back and let's harvest the, let's go grab some more coffee. And then we can get back and do another trip from the palace. All right, coffee is cooking up nicely. And I think, yeah, I left some, I left some meat in here. What am I going to do with this meat? I should probably cook it up. I should probably cook it up while I'm here. But cool, the next batch of coffee is ready. I'm ready to return back to the palace and get some stuff. I think I also have some... I should probably 
I should probably eat something too while I'm here, but I gotta bundle up the food anyway, so I'm happy to do that. 23, hap yeah, happy to see that much coffee on my person. So I'm just gonna bundle, bundle the food back up. No more allergies. Thank God. I'm gonna take the, I'm actually gonna take the honey with me because I think uh, I can trade with the bear bros while I'm out there. You know, the more I'm playing, the, the more, the more I have townhouses now, now that I have townhouses, I should say, I realize that the bear bros are going to steadily become less and less of a source of oinks that I'm going to be relying on because now that I have, uh, now that I have a bunch of pigs paying taxes, that's probably going to become my primary source of income moving forward. But I think, yeah, we're good to go. Let's just drink some coffee. Let's get going. All right, I think I this is the last trip I want to make for now. I've got all the rest of the lanterns bundled up and placed inside the root trunk. I'm gonna grab a few halberds. I don't need a ton. Well, I guess I'll grab enough to fill up my inventory and bundle. But I honestly don't need all of them right now. Be nice to have a few, but yeah, I don't really need that many. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I'm just gonna, let's see. I'll leave the, I'll leave the oinks in here, I think. Actually, why? No, I'll take them back. I'll take them back. Put them in there. Oh, yeah, and I got a little bit more root trunk area. Storage. That takes care of most of, most of the stuff here. I'll leave a few just in case I need some emergency halberds. But I think with that, I'm ready. I'm ready to start actually using the resources, the mountain of resources I just acquired. So let's head on back and let's uh, let's build another batch of pig houses. Maybe two more batches of pig houses if uh, if we're lucky. Okay, we're back. I'm just dropping off the surplus of halberds. Feels good to get all that knocked out of my inventory. Cool. And then yeah, I think we can start to move some resources over to the over to the city. Let's see. I will. I'll shoot for. I'll shoot for 20 pig houses this time around, so that's... So I need 60... Is that right? 60 cut stone? Yeah, I think so. I think that'll call for 60 cut stone. Good. And then boards, I need... Hey, right, you know what? Let's go big. Let's go for 80. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for 40 pig houses. Eh. That's pushing it. That would take four stacks of pigskin. 60. 60 will suffice, I think. Uh, so, uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself just a little bit. 20, pi 20 pi townhouses will be 80 pigskin, 60 boards, and 80... I'm sorry, 60 cutstone and 80 boards. I'm pretty sure I have eight stacks of boards here. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, let's uh let's let's move this stuff over to over to the city and start setting things up over there. Ooh, this is a big wave. Lovely. I like how they get stuck on the corners too. So sometimes they don't even know how to pathfind their way in. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Come over here. Ooh, good time good time to get back. Very good time to get back to the city. Come on. I'm just going to leave this junk here for now because I got to go collect my dang taxes. Eh, I changed my mind. I should really, I should pick this stuff up and at least get the monster meat into the ice box. Wow, for all of those bats, we got all of five pig skins. That ain't too hot. Not really. One townhouse. Yep. Okay, well, deal with that later. I'm curious if I, have I put up, have I put up? 40 pig houses yet? I put up 34. Unless the ones on the edge haven't seen me yet. Doesn't look like they have. I feel like this guy probably should have paid me, but he didn't. Okay. Uh, cool. So we can put up houses over here. Great. Let's get started. Oh, I didn't bring my key to the city. I need that. Okay, I gotta go back. Oops! All right, let's try this again. See if I can remember. It's one, two, three, four, and then two across. Okay. Two, three, four, and then two across. Oh, yes. I'll definitely have over over 40 pig houses by, by the end of this run. 
by the end of this batch. Uh, I just can't remember. How did I how did I set them up last time? Ooh, I did not do these correctly. Crap, I gotta knock them down. Eh, that's gotta be a little annoying. But I think the reason those pigs didn't pay me was because I had uh be they were orphaned pigs. Like I had I had built townhouses and then destroyed them. Oops, wait, let me just make sure I I did these incorrectly as well. I meant to go up three, one, two, three, and then across two. Yeah, I gotta knock these down too. Yikes, that cost a little bit of resources. My bad, y'all, my bad. This farmhouse actually works out beautifully because that's exactly where I would have placed a townhouse. Up three and across two. That's lovely. So that will be a nice, nice house for this section. One, two, three, one, two. Getting a little low on pigskin, but yeah, we're going to have a lot of townhouses here. My goodness. Once I finish this up, we will have, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Each of these is 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we're going to have like 48 houses around here. And that is not even close to the extent of what I, what I intend to build here. Not even close. I want to fill up all of these with townhouses. All of these, uh, all, all these solid, uh, uh, cut stone turf spots. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, yeah. And all the strips and the smaller squares can have other shops, non-townhouse shops. So good. Getting there. I need to go back and grab some more boards. I might go for another batch of townhouses as long as I'm as long as I'm doing this. Might as well. Wait, what's in here? I think those are more lanterns. But I've placed all the lanterns around here, I think. No, no, there's still lanterns left to place. Well maybe okay. Once I fill up the spaces where there are currently lampposts, then I'll have to do another batch of... Another batch of lampposts. Shoot, I forgot about these other bundles. What happens if I open them up right on the corner? Kind of fall out conveniently. <laughs> but I need the... I need the... Alright, there was the wax paper. God, I gotta move those out to... Or maybe I can keep them in here, I don't know. I don't know. But I thought there were more halberds, but they're actually lamp posts. I mean, they're uh, they're lanterns. So uh, I guess I'll take I'll take some of them out outside. Let's just make these bundles. I totally forgot about those extra bundles. Crap. Oh no, we did it again. We got the array of lanterns. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really feel like throwing them into a chest because it's just like the chests would would uh, the storage would run out very quickly. And plus, I want to I want to use these for lamp posts. They'll, they'll just be unfortunately lying around for a while. Anyways, back to back to the city. Let's place these townhouses. All right, if I counted correctly, we are up to about 55 townhouses here. And I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to fill up at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more areas. And each of those will be, each of those will be eight townhouses, which means I need to make another 80 townhouses. That's 240 pigskin, which I do not have. Which means... Which means we need to go on a pigskin quest very soon, and I'm I I I've I've hinted at this, but I think what we're gonna do is go kickstart the apocalypse, and I will sort of come up with an area where I can sort of wait out the apocalypse and let the bat waves. Dis wait a minute, where is the uh, the Herald Islands over here? Basically, wait, I saw something over here. Is this where is this where my house is? Wait, wait. Oh, come on, come on! I show me. It's right up there. This is where my the location of my house in the world. Very interesting, huh? And that might be actually beyond the boundaries of like the square that all these islands take up. Anyways, yeah, I think what I need to do at this point is start the apocalypse. Find a spot where I can put down like a gazillion elephant cactus and just do ride bat wave after bat wave and see how long I can last. And I, that might be the quickest way to get pig skins. I do have more pig houses in Reign of Giants to smash, so I might attempt that first, but I definitely, I definitely know I will not be getting enough pig skin from that, just from that. So the Apocalypse might be the solution to this. Anyways. Whew. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just slow going. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got some progress done today, I should say. Uh, but I need to I need to think a little more about this apocalypse situation because that might be that might be the way to go. I'm I'm like 95% sure that's how I wanna that's how I wanna tackle this pigskin situation. Anyways, I will look at that in between episodes and let you know what I decide on, and please provide feedback if you think that might be. That might uh, assist, assist me. See, 240 pig skids. That means I got to get 180 more before we can finish the build. <laughs> I don't even know if I could get that many pig skins in 20 days, which is about as long as the apocalypse would last. So we shall see. And matter of fact, while I'm here, how much elephant cactus do I have? 50? That should be enough. It should be. I just gotta get get a little creative. How much volcano turf do we have? Not a lot. Ashy turf? No. This might entail another trip back to the volcano and shipwreck before I can place all that elephant cactus down. I could also world hop in Reign of Giants and that would reset the volcano and I could harvest all that elephant cactus again. <sighs> a lot to think about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and I will see you next time. Bye bye.